afternoon guys, Dustin here from Goldrat. Just wanted to shoot a quick little video just to officially launch a 6 inch mini high banker conversion. So we have a top unit here which is a, it's available as a standalone product as well. So you can just order that actual unit with the uh, adjustment bracket, perf plate, and bolts etc. Come with that. Um, for those of you who of these original units I'll have to draw you up a template so you can work out where you want to drill these holes but um, basically this this top unit is going to be available for $169 with those three components and all the bolts and everything to mount those um, still need to come up with some spray bars for you guys um, majority of people tell me that they actually want to make their own spray bars they want to run wrap around that's why we incorporate these little notches for um, cable ties so you can run jets pumping back in at the back wall you can run a cross spray bar how I prefer it but you basically got everything there to to build your own spray bars how you like so I'll come up with some options anyway and put those on the website when the time's right so at the moment you've got a base unit which is $409 with the Standard bilge pump, which is usually a 1100 gallon rule or the whale pump. One of those two we usually send out with this unit. So $409 on the base, the hose, and then you add the the hopper to it. It's another 169 bucks. So you end up around about the the 550 mark with those two. Um, but I have found uh, from running out in the field that some of the places I was pumping water from and the additional lift and, and spray pressure that I wanted the 1100 gallon bilge pump was wasn't underpowered but it just wasn't delivering the cleaning action that I really want in a high banker so did a bit of digging around I spoke with TMC I found a 2000 gallon bilge pump that they offer which is a great brand I prefer these pumps over any other pump and this is a a 28 mil fitting as well so these standard come with a 28 mil so it's an easy upgrade so when we create this listing we'll actually set this up and um, you can pay 35 bucks extra to step up from the 1100 gallon to the 2000 if you want if you don't want to and there's reasons why you might not want to this pump here draws three and a half amps this draws 10 amps so if you're wanting to run a pocket sized battery and you want to get a couple of hours out of that pocket size battery this is still a great option it just means you're gonna to have to spend a little bit more time breaking your material up in your hopper that's all so it's entirely up to you how you want to run that but we'll build those options in I'll just show you some of the uh, some of the features here built into the to this we've got three different adjustment brackets so the main reason you might want to have it on the lower setting the lower setting will actually clear the sluice so it sits in there nice and tight you can run a knocky strap straight over that put all your gear inside your battery etc and there you've got a real nice light unit to cart in and everything's nice and rock solid if you want to raise that profile up a little bit you've got a couple of settings and it's the same on the back here you can elevate or you can take this down a little bit further and that's just individual settings where people you know it doesn't doesn't make a big deal for us to put a couple of extra slots in there some of you might opt to keep the rear feed you might run two 1100 gallon bilge pumps keep the keep the rear feed here introducing extra water and then have a standalone pump just for breaking material up at the top um, we just try and um, try to design as many features in as we can to allow people to have as much customization as they can we're running a simple perf plate we love the 8 mil offset here it's 80% uh, open, which is which is a great option. Um, very easy to remove these two bolts from underneath. Obviously, you're going to get your pickers and bits and pieces get caught up on here, which is fine. They can hang up in the hopper. They don't even make it to the sluice. Um, if you're running completely classified material, so if you've busted um, everything up into a into a bucket using an eight mesh sieve, and you want to turn your bilge pump on and, and just run feed, you don't need that classification at all. 
you can just feed straight in and take your perf plate off and just have material through. Still going to be great for removing your grass and your shale, your flat rocks and things like that, but that's basically the new six inch unit. It's going to come with a black mat, same as the recirculation unit. Um, it's very light. Your legs, you know, we, we're using the universal leg kit, which we absolutely love, and people absolutely love these kits. We get great feedback from these. You can pull these off and put them on any one of our other sluices, anything up to 14 inches wide with this sliding gate, and they're, they're extremely um, customizable. So you can change your pitch. You've got almost like camel legs. You know, you can you can really stabilize your unit wherever you are. Same up here, you can adjust this top bolt, shift this up, and you've got the second pivot there. You got the same in the front. So these have been really popular. Might be a bit pricey at the you know 135 buck mark, but they really do a great job at stabilizing a unit so you can work that material and be really aggressive in your prospecting, which is which is kind of how you get the get the gold out of the ground, isn't it? So it's not much more talked about that. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, we do have a new sluice coming out. This is the a mid-size backpacker, so it's a little bit bigger than the uh, than the six-inch bushwalker series. There's a bit of an idea for comparison. Calling this the Triple Eight Sluice. This is 880 mil long. We're running eight inches wide, so this is the Lucky Triple Eight Sluice, and we're going to be running that in the Mini Profile. And um, again, it's just a really nice light unit to cart in, and you can probably process twice the amount of gravel you can with the backpack sluice there, and it still only requires a small amount of water. We're not selling these mats. As a standalone yet, we will be bringing out a full length eight inch mat, but for the time being, we're just manufacturing this mat to go in this sluice. But um, it's just to give you guys a bit of an idea on what's coming. Um, we're also moving warehouse this month, so things are gonna be a little bit disrupted, but we've smashed out a heap of stock for these. Um, so hopefully there won't be too much downtime, but we will be moving into a, a bigger warehouse in the next three weeks. So it's a little bit of chaos going on, but that'll, that'll be a good move for us and it'll make us a little bit more efficient with all the uh, additional products that we're bringing online. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it from us guys. Just wanted to show you the, the little six inch backpacker unit. I think it's gonna be great. I've been running this for four months myself out in the bush and testing and making changes and I absolutely love it. Um, just, just as far as portability, um, high recovery, being able to really break that material down with low power consumption. It's all about efficiency and quality of time out in the bush, you know. So without having to lug in a big petrol pump, this is a this is a great little unit, and um, I really hope you guys like it. That's it for me.